Okay, so here's the fault. You can see it's telling me handbrake fault. And as you can see, it's telling me there's a parking brake fault. So this is how you solve this problem. Okay, so in your trunk, you've got a carpet. You take the carpet out and then you can just use an Allen key. Uh, there we go. It's two screws with the Allen key head. Remove this little protective cover. And then you can pull out this handbrake, uh, electronic handbrake. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get over here. So now I'm going to open that. These are Torx. That's a Torx. This happens to be a T20. You might find this is quite tight. You might have to use a screwdriver to peel it open. And when you look inside yeah, I can already see the fault. This gear, here's a piece of it. The gear has snapped. And when it uh, snapped, I actually heard it. It, it went and then I, I thought something must be wrong. So there we go, this plastic gear broke. I ordered one off Amazon. I got sent to me here in Johannesburg. Here is the replacement, which I've ordered. And you can see it's a full metal body. Uh, so now I'm going to swap the plastic with the shaft with the uh, replacement. Okay, remove the cable. There's a press pin. Right, you're going to remove the electrical cable. You're going to squeeze it from the back. Squeeze it like that. There's a little pin that I'm pressing at the back, a little leaf. There we go. There, you press that in and then you can pull it out. You can't pull it out unless you press that in. Right, now I'm going to remove these three screws. And these three screws are the same size. And this comes out, and this comes out. Now I'm gonna remove these screws. Now I'm gonna pull this gently, gently. There we go. So there were four screws that were holding this down. Now if you can see, when I turn this, it's turning this gear here. Right. So this motor is what's turning this, which turned the bigger gear. So now I want to take this gear out. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cycle it round. Right, I'm just taking this little piece off here. Right, so I'm turning this. As you can see, as I turn it, it is slowly turning the shaft and I'm literally unscrewing this. Right, so I'm prying this out, you can see, I'm prying this out. Be careful, I'm taking out this broken gear, as you can see, I'm prying it out to the screwdriver. Right, now you can turn this one and take it out. There's the old one, you can see how I got it out. Now there's the new one. Right, I've got some lithium grease. Here it is. This is high temperature bearing grease. It's good for metal on metal. Now I'm seating it in by rotating this armature and by rotating this armature, it is slowly going in there. Let's see.
just a few turns. That's fine. And now what I'm interested in is the alignment here from that and that must be the alignment here so that this thing can move. I'll put that one back on. Right, I'm, I now want to get this on but you'll see there's a lip there and a lip there. And what happens is you see if you look here this thing has to seat. So you see there's a recess there and then you see, so it allows it to move like this. So you can't force this thing in as you're going to break that. So you've got to make sure that this thing can, can be seated in the right orientation. And then also, um, uh, don't worry, this thing can move inside there. So I'm not worried about threading the, the shaft all the way in. It's, it's grabbed a bit there, that's fine. I'm assuming the motor will just tighten it until it, uh, it knows, probably measures the pressure or something like that. This cover, it doesn't matter which way you orientate it, it's, it's uh, unidirectional, so you can put it this way or you can put it that way, it doesn't matter. Now insert the power cable. Right, now you can see I've plugged in the unit and I just want to show you the function of this while it's still open. All right, so the car has to be in the auxiliary position which means that the ignition is on so you've pressed your start button twice but the car the engine isn't running that's when the all the um, icons come up on your dashboard now if you press the handbrake button there you can see it is now engaging the park brakes here we have the handbrake cable for the uh, right hand side of the car and there's the left hand side and they're both tight now you can see how it um, spirals that uh, gear and then it tightens this now if you press the park button again there you go it's released it and there you can see that these are now loose and the handbrake is no longer engaged okay so some things to note the first thing is um, when I did the repair it would not take the error um, you'd still see that uh, yellow sign there that was yellow and on the dashboard on the OBD it came up with the error saying uh, parking brake fault so even if I pressed this three times it still did not solve the problem um, I tried the fuses I checked everything I checked if I did the made a mistake in the way I installed it it made no difference I unfortunately had to connect uh, my laptop and uh, and connect to the car and use Impa to clear all the errors as soon as I cleared the errors this thing worked so in your case you might find that you follow the procedure and guess what it will not reset you know people say you press this three times and it resets it it didn't and if you want to know how to clear the errors you can watch on my channel I have a video very clearly describing how to clear all those errors okay so you might need to do that now just some other note right when the car is on this handbrake function operates a bit differently the first thing is is that um, if you are 
about to move or have uh, just put it engaged in gear this thing does not turn that uh, gear in the back there it's not a mechanical thing anymore what it does is this thing initiates the um, it's as though you're pressing the brake pedal so I can see there the brake is almost pressed for me when I have the P button here when the car is on so if I release it it's like I'm releasing the brake see the brake is almost loose but when I press it what it's doing is it's like it's pressed the brake for me so what is happening this becomes a kind of your brake and the reason why it's doing it is because when the car is on and you press this you know that this that um, ne uh, gear needle takes time to uh, actuate the handbrake and 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 to release it so that's why this becomes no a normal a uh, hydraulic thing rather than a mechanical uh, moving gear thing because the moving gear takes time to engage and disengage whereas hydraulic is much faster so when the car is off yes you will see that the back there the disc I mean the the gear turning so the operation of this thing is different when the car is on and when it's off so just so you know that so you don't wonder what's going on if you press this when you had a traffic light it's not uh, uh, initiating the gear it's uh, initiating a hydraulic effect rather than the gear if you stay parked for a long period of time with it there then after a while it will initiate handbrake mechanically in terms of the gear turning all right so when the car is off now I heard it it's initiated that gear and then it knows to put the handbrake on if I switch it off okay well the car has to be in the uh, auxiliary position there we go then when I press it now it disengages the mechanical the gear all right so that brings you to the end of the video the things you just need to know is that if you do have the problem you might need to reset your errors or clear your errors and that this functions differently when the car is on or off if you follow my DIY you will have no problems thanks for watching cheers